now it's time to get to um, Alaskan Cruises Yay. now and then. And we're going to talk to our special guest, Kelly from Kelly's Cruises Crafts and Quilts. She, Kelly is, um, she's from uh, the British Columbia. And Canada. so she's, that's right, it's Canada. <laughs> so she's near one of those ports where uh, the cruise ships have to stop um, by American law. Um, oh, but so is she it's, closer to Seattle, Washington? She's, Washington? she's very close to Seattle. Yeah. She's, yeah. Uh, remember when we stopped and uh, we were gonna go to, to yeah, Butchart yeah. Gardens? So yeah, she, she's, she's kind of in that part of the world. So she's got an interesting perspective from that, yeah. but she's also sailed on a couple different cruise lines going to Alaska, uh -huh. um, aside from some other uh, other cruises that she's obviously done. And she is also a travel advisor. So she's got a lot of interesting experience. Um, I've learned a lot talking to her and- uh, Definitely. And uh, so we're, we're very fortunate to have her on. And do you think we've made her wait long enough? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I've been trying to get her on. So everybody, let's welcome Kelly from Kelly's Crafts and Cru Quilts. <laughs> See, I was, gonna, I was trying to Kelly's you to say it this time. Kelly's Crafts and Quilts. Oh. Kelly, we're sorry. We're that's hey. okay. Hi, everybody. I'm my fellow and we're so happy to have you here. Yes. Uh, it's 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 funny that we get a chance to talk to uh, so many different people and uh, and have these experiences just kind of one on one. And uh, now that we get to share you and your experiences with people who maybe haven't uh, haven't seen your channel, haven't uh, aren't familiar with you and your experiences. So um, you know, it's it's always fun. Hi, Dale. To have people on the live shows who have personal Hi, experience, uh, especially experiences that we haven't had. Oh. Are we there? We're so, definitely yes. making the yes. world smaller. We, we are making the world smaller. Yes. Oh, hi, Lucy. With, with, was that with technology or with? Yeah. So, yep. See, we got people showing up here. Oh, wait, and Lucy's. Lucy, of course. I don't know. I don't know I don't about know Kelly. I think, I think, I think some of these people might already know you. Well, I come and um, chat on a lot of people's that's lives. Right. Not all the time because of timing, obviously, but. Right. Yeah, you are, you are in a different around. time zone. You're in a different time zone than a lot of the, the cruise people. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it, it's go, cool sorry. having the cruise community here where we kind of all get to know each other. And speaking of knowing each other, there's Tyler from the Tyler Show. Good to hey, see Tyler. you here. Yep. And um, welcome to the welcome to the show, Kelly. Yes, Thank you very indeed. much for having me here. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys disappeared again. No. Glad to have you here. And uh, we have some questions for you. I'm sure some people have some other questions. It is um, uh, time to tick in. So you want to start with the first question? Sure. So Kelly, we will talk about your Alaskan cruise experience mm -hmm. in just a moment. First, for those who are not familiar with you, mm -hmm. could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, well, I was a cruise fan way before I started doing the travel agent thing. Uh, two years ago, I turned 50 and my kids were growing up. My son was graduating high school and I needed a little something to do to keep me busier and keep the brain going. So I thought I would uh, join up with my local Expedia Cruises family. They're a nice bunch of local people, great people to work with, although most of the time I work from home. So I really haven't been doing this too long, but my first cruise was 1997. So, Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, that's before <laughs> that's before a lot of other people, uh, including ourselves, have even been on our first cruise uh, to anywhere. I wish I would have been cruising back then. Yeah, but you didn't know me yet. I know you would have been cruising without me. That's not cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, so yeah, that's that's cool. Um, I, I I guess I should ask you about the the logical the logical thing is to ask you about that first cruise. Let's get yeah. started talking about that. So back, you said it was in 1997. Yeah. You sailed on. Uh, the Regal Princess. Yes, but it's it was, not the Regal Princess that people no, may be familiar with. No, that was it. Was the very first one, I think. Right. And then it became Pacific Dawn, I think, for P and O. P and O. Oh, okay. okay. It's P &O yeah. Cruise yeah. Line. I think it was the Pacific Dawn. Some of you guys might know this better than me because I don't know all the history of all of it. That's yeah. That's that sounds about right. I mean, that's what happens a lot of times with the ships. It's. A, a nicer fate to go to another cruise line, especially a sister yeah. cruise line, than uh, what happens to some of the other ships. And, um, and, and Kelly's got, you've got one dog or well, two now? Can you hear them? 
<laughs> I, I just brought it up because I, I thought people might hear that in the background. That's 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 yeah, awesome. No, many, many I, haven't, I haven't changed my background yet. We've had a Bernie's uh -huh. Mountain Dog, Maximus. He'll be nine uh -huh. in July. Wow. And we just got a puppy in November. So Ferris is almost eight months old. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they're they're adorable dogs. I, Minnie you, you, zonked out on our bed. Yeah, she's she's had a rough day. I tell you, Oof, <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. Um, yeah. James James wanted uh, Isaac as a bartender. Yeah, I I mean it, it, that's the funny thing. Our the last carnival cruise that we were on, the the uh, bartender frequently. I kind of hung out at the Havana bar, and he was always going like like that. Yeah, and I was like, such an yeah, Isaac I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. We're all dating ourselves hugely right now. <laughs> yeah. So okay, so. You know, can you tell us a little bit more about the ship? Um, we want to kind of get a feel for how it's different than the ships today. Yeah. Um, oh. As far as what features or what do you remember about it? Well, one of the things I remember that I don't think it was before balconies were a thing. Mm -hmm. So okay. we just had the window. And we okay. went with my mom and dad, who had been cruising since 93 with Princess. So wow. that... You can see the bridge there on the front of that picture. And then just right. above that was the casino. So that was kind of a weird place for it to be. Hmm. Huh. That um, is unusual. I'm not sure how many decks she had. I think she was in the range of like 70,000 tons, maybe. I'm not positive. It's still long ago. I don't remember. Is that right. light for a cruise ship? For these days, yeah, I'd say so. I think it was kind of big then, but light yeah, now, that, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the, the cruise ship that we took to Alaska, we took um, Norwegian Jewel, and I think it was about 95 so uh -huh. it's not, I mean, it, but it's not big yeah. by comparison to the other ships yep. and yeah. the fleet or other fleets. Well, the thing is, too, if you leave out of Vancouver, you can't be too big or you can't get under the bridge. Oh, oh the bridge. The yes. Bridge. Yes. I think, uh, is that this one here? Lions? That, that's the Lions Gate Bridge. It goes between Stanley Park and North Vancouver. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't uh, raise up like a uh, drawbridge anything, nope. I'm guessing. The bridge of that size, that would be something It else. is what it is. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned they had the casino on there. Were there any other? Um, I imagine they had a show room where they did the shows yep. and stuff like that. Yep. And it was a theater for yep. sure. I don't know. Able to smoke we on board? I I think so, but we never we ne we're not smokers, so I, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was in the days too, where there was nothing pre-done. Mm -hmm. Right, you brought cash with you. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Um. Last night at dinner, you gave the cash to your waiter and your assistant waiter. Yep. And the morning when you left, you put in an envelope and gave it to your room steward. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And there was no pre-buying drinks packages or nothing. You just got your bill at the end of it and went. <gasps> yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. You get that that shot the last last night or yeah. Or, or, yeah. So Oof. you had to empty your bank account before cruise. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, you, you had to be sure you had the money. And you couldn't book your short cruises ahead. I remember. I'm trying to. I was, I was trying to think of this in the intervening time since we talked. You had uh -huh. to get a, a piece of paper or something and go down to the excursions desk and put it in uh, while oh, you were on wow. board. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I, I always see the ex excursion desks on the cruise ships when we're on the cruise, but we've always booked them ahead of time, and it seems like they've gotten smaller and smaller, even as the ships have gotten bigger and bigger. Yeah, I, and I, so. I, see, I don't think they I see, do much of anything anymore. Yeah, they, I see people there occasionally, but it seems like compared to the customer service desk or just about anywhere else people might gather, it's it's pretty quiet. So the times have changed. Mm -hmm. really well, that have. was the first time we went on the White Pass on Yukon Railway train. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, nice. We enjoyed doing that ourselves. We That's, had a fun time. Yeah, this I believe this I believe this is from uh, your your latest cruise. But in case people aren't familiar, it's a very scenic uh, yep. scenic experience. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, it is. I hope you had good weather both times or all three. Well, times. let's let's talk about uh, the weather. <laughs> That's always iffy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that particular cruise was the third week of August. Mm -hmm. okay. And I believe that that was uh, that was one of the good sunny days we had in Skagway. Mm -hmm. When we went in 2018, we escaped the rain because we did it in the morning. But by the time we got back, it was pouring. It was just ugh. oh boy, wow. So it, it's it's going to be iffy no matter whether you go in May or the summer or September. There's supposed to be better times where you can see wildlife and all that. But right. no matter what you do. Make sure you have a jacket. Make sure you might even want to bring a small umbrella mm -hmm. or a poncho. Yeah, just don't sure. assume it's going to be hot and sunny. But right. also don't assume it's going to hose rain the whole time either because it could do anything. Yeah. 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 
Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We, we really enjoyed the train. We, I, I think we got lucky that we didn't get a lot of rain. It's just, it's hit or miss. And I know you said Juno was, you've never seen it without rain or you've nope. never been there without it having some rain. Three but. times and it's, well, it's not bucketing, but you can't uh -huh. see, there's no point in going on that, um, the tramway thing that goes, you can't right. see anything. It's in the clouds. It, mm hmm Mm -hmm. So Kelly, do you like the rune key or medallion better than oh. the cash? Medallion. Medallion. Yeah. I mean, it was nice to have your room key because then you just like they used to take it away. Like we'd just sit there, get a round of drinks, and we'd give off their cards, and the server would come back. Here's your drink. Here's your card. Here's your drink. Here's your card. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, How does the medallion on work? Your neck or on right. your wrist? Uh huh. They know who you are the second they walk up with their pad. So yeah, that's 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 a good point. I think a lot of the people that are on here with us live are uh, are frequent uh, cruisers, but people watching this later might not totally understand it. So it's an, like an electronic device has a little radio signal or something in it. I guess it's it's a little yeah. thing. Well, this this is a Canadian perspective. The little medallion <laughs> thing is about the size of a toonie. A toonie. So well, a toonie, a toonie is a coin. Two dollar right? coin. About two dollar coin. Mm -hmm. Yay big. Okay. So like a bit like a bit a coat a coat button coin. or something. Bigger than that. Bigger than that. Okay. 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 It, it's pretty large, and you get like whatever color you are for your loyalty level. That's oh. what color it is. Oh. Okay. I've and, seen the different colors. Okay. Yeah, and there's a little rim around it that has the the the, the date of the cruise and everything. Oh, oh wow, okay. that's cool. So you can collect them and have have that as a souvenir for yeah the, yeah the just like you could save your card from before. Yeah, oh, sure. So, right. Um. When you go on board, you get your little, I, like, I, I should have brought my, I'm sorry, it's in the other room. Oh, uh, no you get this little plastic thing about yay big and your medallion's in it, and that's free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my wow. husband okay. has, this, has this plastic wristband thing. You just pop the medallion out of the thing you get, and you can stick it in there. Mm -hmm. Did he buy get, the like, wristband nicer, thing? Yeah, you can get like, nicer bracelet -y ones, because I don't want a purple, a blue plastic thing. I want a nice bracelet -y one next right. time I go. Right. Yeah. So and, you just go to the to the shore desk thing. Right. Uh, I think it's on deck seven. Last time we went on the Royal Princess, and you get oh. all your stuff there. Oh wow! I think there's one of those things you can clip on your belt too for the guys if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does exactly. Lucy. Yes, you're correct. It um, no, it saying, did work out. Yeah. We could uh, well we we went and found my, our my daughter. Oh, she's on deck ten. She's in our room. Or oh, look, she's in something yeah. something bar. Kind yep. of creepy though. <laughs> well, it's other people in your party. It'd be like, yeah. it'd be like you trying to find me on you're the not, Yeah, you're not stalking strangers, Joy. You're yeah, you can't, you can't find you. You can't find you. Can't be like, oh, the guy in in cabin 1312 <laughs> is really cute. Like, where is he at? No, it's still, not quite that. Not that I would want to know. No, no. Well, so is it like? Does it work at like your key for your room yes. too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, outside your door, there was always a little um compartment for putting your um, newsletter in. Right. And now outside the door is this, it's like a iPad kind of screen thing. Oh. So you walk up to your room and it says, welcome Kelly on the screen. And you hear oh, a click, wow. click and the door's unlocked. And if <laughs> no, you have a of stuff or your hands full of shopping, you take your elbow and you nice. shove it down on the door handle and yep. in you go in your room. Oh, wow. 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 What, the door doesn't open for you? No, it doesn't open. <laughs> it just unlocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay, a step so too far, perhaps, in the tech. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like it's a lot easier than dealing with the the, the money and the envelopes and all of that. Even yeah. though that's traditional, and you see that in the movies and that sort of thing, it's yeah, I got to go with the convenience, even if it's a little creepy for you. <laughs> so we we talked about uh, some a little bit about ports, but you wanted to ask a little bit more. Yeah, about... Yeah, I was wondering what do you remember about the first port stops on your cruise? Yeah, well, your first cruise, what 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 ports did you have? Do you remember? We went to Juno. Okay. Right. And it wasn't very nice. We just walked around in the town. Okay. We went and Skagway, what was really cool. And we also went to Sitka, which is oh, that Sitka. Russian town. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Not all the cruises go there and Princess stopped going there for a while. And now they're going back, I think. And uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's on Baranoff Island, but it's very Russian. We actually saw like dancers and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, in the town. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think that was huh. it. And Glacier uh -huh. Bay, of course. You just cruise around there all day. Yeah. Yep. Yep. To get some ice. Get some ice. Or, remember they they had ice floating around. Well, so I don't think they're supposed to. Sometimes they pick up the ice and you can um, have it for. Yeah, yeah, they did drinks. that when we went with celebrity. They did wow. that. 
See? I, I missed that. I didn't know they were making snow cones at sea. Okay. I guess I guess I must pool, have been. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in wow. 2011, we went on the Celebrity Century, and at the Hubbard Glacier, we were just standing around on deck and looking, and one of the crew members goes from whatever deck it is, four or five, or wherever they go out on a Zodiac. And these two yeah. guys go out with these big hook things and find a hunk of ice and stick it in the Zodiac and come back on wow. board. And then wow. we're like, what was that all about? So later on, yeah. it's in the pool, and they're doing like a polar bear swim kind of deal. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Brave souls that want to do that. Yeah, or yeah. silly souls. So, so yeah, MGM Family Travel had asked about polar bears. So, what about uh, wildlife on your different Alaskan cruises? I guess we don't have to stick with just the first one, but um, do you have the opportunity to see some different wildlife? Polar bears? I don't know if polar bears are polar bears in Alaska. Is Bill messing uh, way, with me? Way, way, way up north, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I never know. I never know with with, with Bill. But, okay. I think if you actually go up to Alaska proper, maybe. But I mean, okay. all the cruises just go down in the Panhandle. Okay. Which is not that different than the north coast of BC. So. Right. You saw like sea otters and sea lions. Yep. 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 Yeah, that's cool. Um. Yeah, they're common. Uh, one of our cruises, we we noticed that there was. Pacific white-sided dolphins, I think they were. Oh, cool. Following, mm -hmm. like they were playing in the wake. Yeah. Um, but that was on the way up. That was just off Vancouver Island. So it wasn't even oh, Alaska wow. by then. I think if you want to actually see stuff, you have to go on one of the excursions and go out and whale watch or yeah, uh -huh. yeah. whatever. Well, I'm going to take a cue from uh, from from Bill at MGM Family Travel. I'm gonna, next time I'm there, I'm going to look for penguins. So thanks, Bill. You, you, you got me. So Penguins. let's move on. Yeah, Bill's 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 trying. He pranked me. There's no Why? polar bears. There's no polar bears in, in the Skagway. Oh, no, not unless you buy a, a stuffed one at one of the many stores. <laughs> so um, yeah, so let's move on. Um, we've talked uh, quite a bit about the first cruise, but second cruise, you were on a different cruise line. So do you, you want to ask about that, or did I just steal your thunder? Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so your second cruise, I think you said, I remember because it was the same year we took our first cruise, our honeymoon cruise, yep. was in 2011, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay, and that was on a different cruise line? That was Celebrity, with the Celebrity. old Century, which oh. disappeared somewhere else. Yeah. After that. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so I think, did we have a picture? Okay, yeah, we had some pictures from there. You sent us some nice some nice pictures from your scrapbook. Yep. Oh, nice. Um, they're on board. Now, this this ship doesn't look like it was much much bigger than the uh, your first No, ship. it wasn't. Yeah. Pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it, it looks kind of, it reminds me of the kind of the fantasy class carnival ships. It's much more, you, you get to the Lido deck and you're basically at the top of the ship. Yeah, huh. I think... So if I remember rightly, the buffet was on deck 11 because we liked a bar that was out the back of it. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. That's, That's always nice to yeah. have an aft so, bar. There you go. Deck 11 was the buffet, not yep. 14 or 15 or whatever they are now. Right, right. And and um, I think you told me that on this cruise, your second cruise on, on Celebrity Century, that uh -huh. your kids went on the first cruise. That was the first yes. cruise with kids? So yes, what, there was... Yeah. Tell there was 20 of us from wow. my family. Wow. Uh, the I didn't youngest know you had that many kids. That's a lot of p kids. Yeah. So Ooh. there was. My husband has older siblings. So we have older nieces and nephews. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And at the time, my son was 10 and a half and my daughter was nearly 13. Oh, wow. Yeah. Perfect cruising. They so loved what, it. They loved it. Okay. So what. These days, the kids that age, younger, older, uh, the kids have so many things to do. Back then, um, were there kids clubs? Yes, there was. They did. Okay. They yeah, kids clubs. Um, okay. My son oh, went into one of them, yeah. and his second cousins, who were almost the same age, they were in the, the younger one, right? But mm -hmm. uh, Kyle went and did a few things with the kids club, and then we did some family stuff, too. But... Um, Way back when, when my father-in-law was younger, he was in a band. Uh -huh. And at one point, the kids had to do a scavenger hunt. And one of the things they had to get was the signature of somebody who was in a band. Oh. So Kyle immediately piped up to the people in his group. My Opa was in a band. So yep. they all came running up to get my father-in-law to sign their... Oh, how nice. fun. Nice. Yeah. 
and they had, they had like an arcade day and sure uh, i think they had one movie night but kyle didn't go because we were doing something else or whatever but yeah yeah uh -huh. yeah well that's the way that's the way the cruises are these days it's there's too much going on you can't do everything that's for sure yeah yeah and and um so the different port stops on the second cruise um i know you sent us a picture where you look like you were doing some uh tendering or there was some tendering yes. going on yeah that's uh icy point huna okay but in the intervening time somewhere in between 2011 and now they got a dock Huh. Nice. Oh, so what is was called the El Rico combo, and it was him and two buddies in the 1960s. Hmm. What? Now wait. What was that? Sorry, I missed that. Lucy's asking about my father-in-law's band. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, for those of you who's uh, who use the uh, Streamyard, you know that I'm on the wrong screen to see that. So I, what is she talking about? Did mm -hmm. I miss something? Okay. So yeah, that's cool. Um, in Icy Point, what 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 is that port? The what town is, is like? the town is called Huna, I think. Huna. O O N A H. Huna. Interesting. Okay. And uh, it sounds like it's gotten more traffic traffic over the years because they have since they built the the dock there where they can actually don't have to have to uh, tender at least. Yeah, advance. that's much and nicer. Much, yep, makes it a lot people. easier. Um, and so so I see point. What and do we talk about all of the port stops on that uh, on uh, that particular cruise? So I see point one, Juno again, I'm assuming. Yes, Juno again. Uh -huh. That one did not go to Skagway. Huh. That was Ketchikan. Okay. So that was our first crack at Ketchikan. We'd never been there before. And okay. when we did the Hubbard Glacier, not Glacier Bay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So, so since you've been on so many cruises, would you say the food has gotten better or is, is it kind of stayed the same? Good mm. quality. Yeah. Good quality. <sighs> It's pr kind of the same, really. But, I mean, mm -hmm. now they don't do that midnight buffet and all that oh, excessive right. craziness. That that mm. was a thing in 97 was the midnight buffet. We didn't go, but it was a thing. Yeah. I don't think they do that anymore. I think that's got to be pretty rare. I think I think uh, Carnival's planning that for their c celebration next year, but uh, that's not a normal thing. I think they probably got tired of, of having to staff the buffet, buffet at midnight to do that. Yeah. And then clean up and everything. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine doing a buffet at midnight. Poor cruise. I'm, I'm in bed by then anyway. Poor cruise staff. Yes. Poor cruise staff. Yeah. Well, you, we, we're, we're missing the cruise staff right now. We're going to, yeah. we're going to be so happy to see them again. So you had a, you had kind of a strange question based on some things that Kelly told us before. You remember? Where it was oh, about yeah. The food? So, so Kelly, food? could you tell us about the crackers and green apples that were sent to your cabin oh. on this cruise? Yeah, we had a fantastic waiter on the century. His name was Constantine. We just fell in love with him totally. He was the nicest guy. And we all sat together in our big table. We changed around so we were sitting in different places, but it was all our family. Right. And he thought that was the coolest thing that we were all there together. And at one point, it was not rough exactly, but there was a little. And my kids mm -hmm. weren't feeling too hot at dinner and they didn't come to dinner. And he said, well, where are they? And we said, well, they, they kind of felt a little, eh, they're going to just lay low. And so he said, this is what you have to do. And he said, I will make sure that the room service people get them the crackers and the apples. And that's what they did. Yep. So does, uh, why the apples, does that help with seasickness? I guess so. It, it has to be like a, a, like a granny Smith, like a really hard crunchy, maybe it's oh. the sour. I don't know. I never yeah. heard of that yet, but yeah, I don't know yeah. why. Sounds like one of those one of those uh, mothers, family oh, mothers mother sales no mothers uh, cures mothers cures yeah well hey if it works I'm all for it yeah they seem so. to feel better later so well I there guess you go it's okay huh yeah well that's cool so um yeah so uh, let's see we were going to ask I thought I had a question here oh no well the band you talked about the band okay let's go on to the next one so um. Did we cover? Yeah, we were going. You were asked a question before. We were going to ask her about the what she felt like the difference was between uh, princess and uh, celebrity. So Kelly, is your... what is the difference between <laughs> princess and celebrity? <laughs> you don't. She heard me. You don't have to ask again. <laughs> Sorry, Joy. Kelly. We didn't really find a huge difference. <laughs> okay. Uh, because we had like princess. We like celebrity. Like they're they're right. similar, 
Mm -hmm. Not exactly everything the same, obviously, but they're similar style, I guess you could say. Yeah. 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 Did, and, and did you notice between, so, you know, 97 to 2011, that's a pretty good stretch in time. Did you notice, can you recall what seemed the most different? I guess that, I don't know if the ages of the two ships are that far apart, but maybe the way things were done on the ship, were they still, were they still having to carry out money to pay everybody or what I changed? was trying to remember that. Yeah. Um, my father-in-law footed the bill for us, to, like he paid our fares. Wow. Right? Yeah. So all the rest of it was up to us. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think I racked my brain about this and I just I'm not sure. We might have been able to pay our gratuities ahead of time. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. But I don't think we did a beverage card or anything. Right. We just got our bill. So yeah. back then were there a lot more dress up days or versus no. now that there's not as many or some? I think there was there was maybe a couple because we actually got a big picture of all 20 of us standing on the stairs in the atrium. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, the classic photo. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Chris, Chris here is saying that uh, they had a cruise director who said, yep, yeah, get those green apples. That'll help you. So yeah, either, you go. either it really works or the, the cruise uh, people have gotten together and said, this would be a great prank to plan. Everybody get rid of these green apples that nobody <laughs> takes from the buffet. <laughs> Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So at least, at least uh, James from uh, Travel Mobile, he'll he'll take care of those. But uh, he probably never gets seasick because he's eating those. So now let's move on. Let's let's go forward in time a little bit further. Back and forward, <laughs> forward in time. I don't know. You're, not supposed to, you're gonna try to sing, and it wasn't yes, right. It wasn't. So working. can you tell us about your most recent Alaskan cruise? And, and as I recall, that was going. You went back to Princess this time. Yes. The Ruby um, Princess. I should also say that the reason why we went on Celebrity originally in yeah. 2011 yeah. was in the intervening time between the first one and the second one, Princess had stopped sailing round trips from Vancouver in July and August. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah. They do the one ways only. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, hence, went on Celebrity. Easy, no fly-in, too hard with 20 people, babies, nah, nah, nah. Right, So, right. 2018, um, again, my mom and dad had foot of the bill for us because they mm -hmm. used to have a trailer across the border and they sold it. So they wanted to do something for the grandkids and there's 10 of us in my side of the family. So we all went. Wow. Nice. And we went, wow. we opted to sail out of Seattle mm -hmm. because it was the second week of July uh -huh. and we wanted to do a round trip. And we also wanted to go back to Skagway because mm -hmm. uh -huh. we wanted to go on the train again. Yep. Yep, and you didn't get a chance to go on the train on that second one because you didn't have a Skagway stop. So, yes, yeah, yeah. The the the, the White Pass Railway that is quite a draw. I will. It's the the pictures are just beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely the worth going. Scenery. Cool. Yeah. yeah, you can't take a bad picture yeah. while you're on the train, right? Especially if you're a history buff. Yeah, yeah. If you love that stuff, and you also got the um, the the nature, you you might see some bears. You might see some not polar bears, Bill, but uh, you know regular Alaskan bears. Yeah, so black bears or brown bears. Never mind. I don't want to talk about bears anymore. <laughs> well, thanks. Okay, so um, yeah, so let's let's do let's do a, a real quick comparison here because we were talking earlier about the original Regal Princess. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at the latest ship you went on with also with princess cruises ruby princess yep Ooh, look difference. at all the decks yeah see so look difference. at all those balconies yeah yep. not not that not that people watching are you know people i think are aware how the how big the ships have gotten but yeah they've gotten really really big and those princess cruise i really do like the way they use the blue glass on the balcony i know you appreciate the blue uh -huh. um but they do a really good job of making the making the ships look really nice um and teddy bears, teddy bears. Bill, do we need to get a? We need to get. What do you call the person with the wrench? The moderator. We need to get a moderator because we. I think we're. We might be on the verge of getting somebody uh, the troublemakers in here, man. <laughs> not uh, not saying not saying anything about uh, MGM Family Travel. You guys are awesome, um, especially Lucy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Um, so Ruby Princess. Um, you said it was out of Seattle. Uh -huh. Yes. You went on the White Pass Railway. Um, and your favorite thing about that, you mentioned history. So 
Um, and no, I know if it's like our, well, I think you should send us a picture. Um, you, you got the same picture that I think a lot of people that take that excursion take, um, that the marker when you get to Canada. Oh. Yep. And it, it, as a Canadian, maybe you just miss can Canada so much that you just had to get back there after after four or five days, cross the border You're again. There for about 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And they turn, they turn around the train and yep. do you want to explain? You want to explain how they do that? Because um, they don't have a loop up there that you turn around in, right? No, no. It the train the the seats in the coaches flip over, so you right. go up to the top. There, there, there's like like a like another line, I guess you call it, West Spur. I don't know something, whatever. Mm -hmm. And your your train stops, and the engines disconnect, and they go off on this little spur line, and they go down to the other end of the train. And then all the people that are going around, because they have staff on board that are explaining stuff and showing you things, and they say, okay, everybody stand up and flip your seat over the other way. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you flip your seat over and back down you go. It's so amazing. It's so yeah. cool. I think we had a picture of that. but I think we got a little video clip of, of, of a train passing us or our, our locomotive passing us or something. It was very, very, yeah. very strange. It's it's so cool, though. But it's, it's, it's clever. Brilliant. It's clever how it's, it's really done. It's an idea. Yeah. And, yeah. and I remember hearing ahead of time that the seats were going to be flipped. I couldn't even picture that. But it really is a pretty, pretty basic um, mechanical design. It's yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty it's straightforward. Pretty brilliant. It works just fine. Yeah. Uh, Bill wants to be a moderator. We got our, we got our first moderator volunteer. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, well, I think we I th we'll send you out an application. Uh, it's 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 only forty. Bill, pages I think you'll be a great uh, moderator. Your experience, <laughs> I'm sure he'd be great too. I just I, I'd be afraid that he would stop us from talking. He'd ban us from our own, uh, <laughs> our own channel. Oh. <laughs> we don't say anything naughty. No, I don't think you do. No, but I but I might I might have rubbed him the wrong way. <laughs> He, he did the, the, the polar polar bear prank. So we need to get back on topic here. Who got us off topic? Uh, that was Bill. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> so we asked before about your experience with weather in uh, on Alaskan cruises, and you talked about your advice on what you should take along. Just be prepared for good weather, for bad weather, what be it. Right. Uh, can you think of any, is there anything else that you should be packing that's different than, I mean, a lot of, people that watch our videos and that are probably on here right now, I, I would dare say, are more familiar with Caribbean cruises. What other items might you take besides warmer clothes, I guess, that might be helpful on an Alaskan cruise that you maybe wouldn't care about so much on a Caribbean cruise? Mittens? M mittens? I don't know. In the summer? You're well, maybe. Alaska? Maybe. I was asking Could Kelly. It cold. Okay, asking, sorry. It's not that cold. <laughs> it's not that cold. We lived in Minnesota. <laughs> don't what? Don't we? We know. We know. We know what winter's it's, like. It's wet. Wet. Rainy. Oh, wet. Yes. yes. Okay. So, anything else that people should know about that they should take with them, or that they should be prepared for when they're cruising to Alaska? I guess is what I'm trying to say in a not very eloquent way. <laughs> be prepared for any eventuality of weather. Yeah. By all means, bring your bathing suit, bring your shorts, and your t-shirt, because on the way back in 2018. All last day was a sea day. It was nice and hot. Everyone's at the pool. Wow. So you just never know. Uh, an umbrella, one of those little collapsible jobs that fits in your suitcase, that could be handy. Yep. If you have small binoculars, you might want to take them. I hope binoculars. Yeah, but don't For forget a glacier day on the ship. You just, you know, yeah. If you got those little mini ones, the pack easy, that might be a good idea. Yeah, be good for, uh, for spotting wildlife and whales. Well, yeah. And having done the last one with a balcony, yeah, yeah, uh, it's worth the money yeah. for yeah, that I mean, alone. That picture alone, that's why you get the balcony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we 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 were we weren't uh, that 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 savvy. The only the only cruise we've ever done where we've had an inside cabin was to Alaska, and yeah. that was because we were trying to get some newbies to go along with us to uh, to uh, on this Alaskan cruise, and we didn't want to make them feel like they had to get a really expensive uh, cabin. But next time we go, we'll get a balcony because the views. Yeah, but you sleep really well in in the inside of in the inside <laughs> cabins because it's so dark. That's that's a positive way to look at it. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is very well, bright. I think I explained to you guys that on that 2018 trip, uh -huh. the adults had the balconies. Uh huh. My hubby and I, right. my mom and dad, my sister and brother-in-law, and the kids across the hall on the inside. 
Oh, well, there you go. Yes. Because they, they're not going to be in their room very much anyway. So. No. Yeah. So yeah. it was my daughter who was almost 20 because she right. she's got a September birthday. Mm -hmm. And my niece who had just turned 13, I think. Mm -hmm. I, my brain's going. Mm -hmm. And my mm -hmm. son who was 17 and a half. And right. my nephew, who also has a September birthday, was nearly 15. So the two boys were together, and the two girls were together. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that works out well, and you don't have to worry. I mean, I, I would hope that you wouldn't have to worry that they'd be uh, the kind of kids that would uh, be up to no good and getting silly on the balcony. Um, you see some some crazy, crazy stunts with the, with the balconies sometimes, but... Um, we've never done anything so crazy on balconies. No, we've seen some. We've seen some pure runners. That's about the craziest thing we've seen on there. <laughs> yep. yep, yep. I know. I know you love the pure runners, Joy. Yeah. So, um, oh, we got a hey, Beach Please is in the house. Yep. Good. Good to see you here. Hello, hello. Yep. I think we all know each other. Yeah, we were watching you guys well, yesterday or the day before. I was watching like, them today a little bit. Oh, you watched this more than okay. Yeah. I was watching them. They were throwing axes. I'm not sure how old video they were throwing. I don't think you saw them. We watched. Oh, I didn't see, see that. That's one. the thing is, when you are a couple doing a YouTube channel, sometimes you end up watching stuff separately. So I'll mention something I saw on your channel, Kelly, and Joy will be like, "What? She was doing <laughs> what? She, she she had a quilt? Well, yeah, that's part of the name of the channel. I don't know. So, um, yeah. So I was so, watching sea otters today. Sea otters is that a, otters, is that a new but, cruise channel? No, it's kind of. Like, Anyways, the wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> so don't just watch cruise stuff. Okay. So anyway, um, let's move on. I did want to to go back to one thing. We didn't talk a whole lot about Catch a Can. Um, kind of maybe one of the, after Skagway, maybe a little more forgotten of a port, at least in my opinion. But um, it does definitely have some interesting, uh, interesting views. And um, it has this little little area, Creek Street. Oh, and yeah. I seem to remember that this business was uh, somewhat uh, had somewhat of a history to it. Yes. Uh -huh. And I think you gave us a hint to that history in one of the pictures he sent us. Um, this for is people, a red light. You gonna read it? I red light district. Right. You took off your glasses. Red light district will close. We're reading to people on. This is like a, a golden book, uh, <laughs> C and say or something. Like that. Yeah. So the red light district will close at June. Three to allow girls to attend the police policeman's ball. See, this is why I don't do it at Beaumont <laughs> Hall. Yeah, so a different time, a different way of doing things. But uh, yeah, Dolly's was uh, definitely that's definitely one of the places the uh, tour guides like to point out to you when you're in uh, Ketchikan. That's yes. true. <laughs> it was uh, it was worth it. It was cool, actually. A little yeah. a di different history, but a yeah. slice of history nonetheless. Yeah. Yep, it yeah. does definitely. It's hey, it's part of, it's part of uh, what what went on there with the with uh, all the, uh, the the mining and all the other um, yep. establishing of that part of the world. And the so. the girls that tour you around are dressed up in the in the dresses, right, with their yeah. hair up and stuff. So yep. not uh -huh. not the disreputable dresses, but dresses of the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So originally with the kids, because mm -hmm. we my son was ten and a half, right? So we were, she was starting to give us the G rated spiel mm -hmm. and she's kind uh -huh. of sidelong on looking at the kids. Like and my husband and I have been relatively open with them about everything to prepare them for life. And, you know, not going into gory detail, but they know the score about stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We said to the girl, they know everything, just go for it. So yeah. she, <laughs> she gave us the real thing. Yep. The, the true, the true story, the, the, the true not, story, not, not edited. And uh, so I need to take just a moment here to show Joy something and since we're still getting used to doing the lives. So what you do is you click on these these three dots over here. Uh-huh. And it says it says you can um, put the user on timeout or you can block them. So if we need to use that, then that's what we would do. Oh. Okay. So it's good to know. Um, anyway, back to what we were talking about. We need to talk, we need to talk, as time is starting to run out of us a little bit, we need to talk about something a little different. Um, we've enjoyed talking about Alaska a lot. And if anybody else has any Alaska questions for Kelly, be sure to throw them in the chat before we run out of time here. Definitely. But we would be, uh, we would be uh, 
uh, very disappointed in ourselves if we did not take some time to talk to you, Kelly, about uh, about your channel. So, what can you tell us about your plans for your YouTube channel? Yeah, well, and and for anybody that doesn't know, because people will be watching this later that may not be familiar with your channel and might be wondering, what exactly is Kelly doing with these three different topics? <laughs> what is going on over there? Well, it kind of arose from circumstances because yeah. I was starting to put videos up in early 2019 and I thought, oh, well, I just started this travel thing. Let's try and do that. Mm -hmm. But then that went out the window <laughs> and I've been doing some quilting since 2015. So originally my channel was just my name, right? Uh -huh. So. Yes. When I started getting into the quilting and then I started doing other crafting and watching other people's videos and, oh, that looks cool. I'll try that. So that's kind of how I have a bunch of different stuff going on. Uh -huh. It wasn't planned. It just kind of happened. Right. right. Yep. And I did talk about that a while ago. I was like, maybe I should have two channels. Why should I do this? I should do that. I still don't yeah. know. I'm going to keep yeah. it going as it is, but down the road, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know you've done live um, shows on your channel too, and I've I've jumped in there, and you were talking about about quilts and crafts, and thank you. And, and uh, you're um, you 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 were kind enough to say, excuse me, just a minute, I got to talk to one of my crew's friends. So you, you kind of are balancing a couple different worlds because not everybody that is interested in your channel for one thing is interested in for another. Yes, but you know they're all they're interested in it for you. So yeah. that's great that uh, that you've found a way to kind of meld together various of your interests. Have you ever done any quilting on board a ship? No. Mm. Oh. I think you can do quilting cruises though, because some of my quilting buddies have done it, but. <laughs> I would hesitate to bring one along just because they're, they're big. Like, even if I was going to do something by hand, uh -huh. it's one thing to pack. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can't. Yeah. They're heavy so, too, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Exactly. And I, I don't want to. And I also yeah. would be afraid of something happening to it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's a little different than. I mean, what's what's the other type of like crochet or crochet knit, 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 or needlework. cross stitch? Cross yeah, stitch? Needlework. That's 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 yeah. a little more. Or so I'm pretending hook. like I know hooking that. Yeah, I, no. I I think I brought cross stitch on once, but I don't do that very much anymore. It's too hard on my hands. Yeah. 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 Well, Chris has a question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the biggest tip: be prepared for any weather, any eventuality. Be prepared for ship movement. She said, Bill, she said ship. Ship, ship movement. movement. <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna You're coming down the, the peninsula there, north coast of BC. The sea is not glass there. Right. It oh. does things. And you can actually feel it on the ship? Yes. Because oh. those ships are so... Big, the cruise ships. Yeah, the, the, the ocean is bigger. You, I mean, you <laughs> might find nothing at all, but yeah. it, chances are something's going to happen. Yeah. So dun, dun, bring dun. your non-drowsy gravel. Yeah. Have one every morning, whether you think you're going to need it or not. Yeah. Drama right. mean. Drama Whatever. mean is your one of those, friend. As long as it lasts, doesn't make you sleepy, take it. Right. Yeah. Right. So... Joy, we kind of asked you about this. We got talking about what you've done in the past in your channel. Do you have anything in particular? You talked about maybe splitting the channels or whatever. I mean, I mean hey, I don't know what, what the answer is to that. But do you have kind of anything in particular planned to go with cruising starting up again or anything else that you're thinking about doing in the coming months? I'm hoping to obviously have more cruise content, but having right. canceled, well, you were supposed to go on the Royal Princess on a coastal in September. And actually... Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. we were supposed to be joining the Celebrity Solstice in Honolulu. Oh. oh. Wow. So is Canada opening up soon, though? Nope. Mm. Yeah, so what's that's that's the other question I was going to ask you about. So what is the we, – we hear plenty about what's going on here with the CDC and everything, and more than we probably like to hear, at least myself. So what is the current climate like there between – American ships stopping there on their way to Alaska or Canada just opening up in general to cruising. It's, yeah. it's not looking good, it sounds like. I don't think anything's going to change. I mean, I could be completely wrong. Mm -hmm. It 
it, it the hard thing too is because there's different things going on in different areas of the country. Like mm -hmm. Ontario is in terrible shape right now and they are yeah. shut down. Like you have even have to have a valid reason to get out of your house. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, here in British Columbia, we're in like a mini lockdown. They called it circuit breaker, I think, just to oh. shut some mm -hmm. stuff off. Uh -huh. And in two weeks, it's it's getting better. It's just a slow thing. Next door, Alberta, where we just were on the weekend to pick my son up from college. They're mm -hmm. not as great a shape of us, but they're not too bad. Right. The maritime provinces don't have very many, but they're starting to get a few more. So yeah. it's sort of going all over the place. And it's really hard for the federal government to say, okay, this is this, because right. not everything applies everywhere. Right. right. And Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, it's kind of been like that in the, in the States too. So mm -hmm. the, it has the, have the, is the vaccine widely available or are the, the vaccines? It's coming. Yeah, it's coming along again. Different places are doing things differently. Right. Um, British Columbia is doing ours by age. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're coming down. So my husband and I were both born in 1969. And by later mm -hmm. on this week, we are going to get other phone call or email to say we can go get the first mm -hmm. one of probably right. five. Wow. Right. Well, that's good. It's coming around. It's just, it's yeah. too, it seems like it's it, everywhere. It seems like it's taken longer than it should. Yeah. And it seems like yeah. it's been too many of these. The variants are the problem. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really become the problem. It sounds like. But as so, more yeah. people get their shot, then. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, I mean, by the summer, like you guys the, in the states, it looks like you guys are going to be in relatively good shape. I think so. Vaccine wise, think so. by the summer, and I think so will we. But mm. by then, it it's way too late to try to save anything for the cruise season. It, you mm. know what I mean? Well, yep. Yeah, depending. But I know, like some of the cruise cruise lines are vaccinating their crew in right. the United States. So yeah, that's good. They, they yep. may be able to maybe save part of the season. Maybe. Maybe. You know? maybe. I, I'm not hopeful for that, but maybe. No. So if, for anybody that's tuning in just now, first of all, why do you wait to tune in until we're almost done? <laughs> and second of all, we're talking to Kelly from Kelly's Cruises, Crafts, and Quilts. You, Why would you say it with me? Oh. It's a fine. Uh, and, and we're talking exclusively. don't have to do the whole channel name. I know it gets crazy. We're talking to Kelly. And uh, we're talking exclusively about Alaskan cruises and how much fun they are. Uh, please ignore the last few minutes. That was my fault for asking about the, uh, the vaccine situation, the, <laughs> um, unpleasantness that's been going on in the world. So um, let's let's turn things to a more positive note. We we it's the time where we need to thank you for being uh, on here with us. We thank you for joining us, Kelly. We thank you. Have always enjoyed watching your your uh, your videos and. Um, it's it's always been it's been fun talking to you. We've gotten a chance to know you a little bit better as we've been preparing to uh, to to visit with you tonight. So, um, gotta say to anybody out there who's watching who hasn't already subscribed to Kelly's channel, Kelly's Cruises Crafts and Quilts. A, a couple of people did, so thanks very much, you guys, and thank yeah. you to you too. Yep, of course. You're most welcome course. for joining. I do appreciate that you have me on. It's been fun. I That's like to yap about stuff. Yeah, 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 that's good. We enjoyed. Well, and, and I'll pull back the curtain a little bit, but we 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 talked with you uh, in a similar fashion uh, a few weeks ago, and that was a lot of fun too. So it's just you're just fun to talk to, and oh, um, it's it's great hearing um, your different experiences that you know we maybe haven't had a chance to have, and you know maybe we're a little envious of all the the cruises you've had, especially yeah. in Alaska. But uh, it's it's great to hear about it. Give and, us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Yeah, you jump into that. It now, helps huh? us. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, and um, be sure to go to uh, the link down in the description. Yeah. Because that's for Kelly's Thanks, channel. Thanks, Kelly's. Yep. Thanks, Bill. And check it out, and uh, we we wanna we wanna thank you for uh, being with us, Kelly. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks for thanks for being with us. Bye. Be safe. Bye. You too. Bye. So that was Kelly, and I know a lot of you watching right now with us live already know Kelly or familiar with Kelly. So uh, she's she's a, a frequent visitor of other people's live uh, uh, shows. And we've had some of the other live shows on here, mm -hmm. um, I I including uh, Lucy from MGM Family Travel and that other guy. Um, it's been a lot of fun having you on to talk with us, uh, all of us together to talk about Alaskan cruising. Yeah. And um, we need to mention again, next week, we're going to be talking about the, the, the beloved Carnival Fantasy with with our friend James from Travelmobile. 
he's going to be on with us next week. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. He's another person that I've really enjoyed talking to um, and watching his videos um, with this different, not just cruising, but travel videos. And he's had some some interesting experiences. He had Definitely. a lot more experiences than we've had with uh, Car <laughs> with uh, Carmel Fantasy. Um, and he'll be talking about that next week. So that's next Monday at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Yep. So you'll want to be sure to check that out. And if you haven't done so already, our Carnival Cruise Trivia episode is out there and available. Got to do our shameless promotion for our own channel. I think your thumbs up thing we were saying before. And it also has one of the last chances to enter our $100 Carnival Cruise credit giveaway. So, you don't want to miss out on that. Yeah, you might actually win. I know. So we've enjoyed having you guys all here. We thank you for joining us. And Thanks for watching. Even Bill. Yep. Yeah. And um, what do you want to say? Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. And this is always the part where I can't can't find where I need to go to actually leave. Okay, <laughs> so bye. 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 So long. Farewell. That didn't work. Oh, are we still on? We're still on. Hi. Bye. We're new at this. <laughs>